Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to share the CMU Full Motion Pack for your Unreal Engine 4.27. You can see they are really a massive pack for this animation sequence pack. There are about 2548 CMU mockups. And you can scroll down, go to my video descriptions, click into the first link and download a zip file. Once you download it, it is a zip file, you have to extract it into the folder. Once you extract it already, you should be able to see that actually in this folder, there are a lot of the empty folders here. You can just ignore all of this empty folder, scroll down, scroll down to the middle, you should be able to see all, all FBX motion files and all of this actually already created by me to retarget just for your Unreal Engine 4.27 SK Mannequin. And once you import into your Unreal Engine 4.27, later you can retarget it in other 3D avatar. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how are we going to use all of this. Right. First, I'm going to open my Epic Game Launcher so that I can launch the Unreal Engine 4.27 The UE 4.27 already installed in my computer I just launch it immediately and wait for a while Now you can see the Unreal Editor is launching Alright, so to guide you start from beginning I'm going to create a new game project here You can see I start a new game project and click next and as demo, I'm going to create a third-person game project here. And I click next. And the project name, I'm going to name it as CMU. Mockup Demo UE4. This is just a demo. I'm going to create it. And now, we have to wait for a while until the new game project is going to be launched here. Now, done. All right. If you play... Actually, in this third-person game project, if you play, you can see the main avatar is the Mana Queen. This is the SK Mana Queen, and where are we going to find this avatar? If you want to retarget the animation blueprint for other 3D avatar, you have to use the SK Mana Queen as well. So I'm going to go to the content folder, the Mana Queen folder. Character Mesh. You can see the SK Mana Queen is here. And actually, for all the FBX motion file of the CMU mockups, I already did all the job for you. Already automatic retarget it into onto the UE4 Mana Queen skeletons, which is belongs to SK Mana Queen. So what are, what are we going to do to import this motion? For example, I can, I can just right click here, create a new folder. The step by step, I'm going to name it, name this as CMU mockup motions. All right, now I double click into this folder here. Then, then I'm going to find any of the, the motion file. For example, the picking up ball Or you can see creeping work, creeping walk. For example, creeping walk, I drag in. This is the way to import. First up, the skeleton, you have to choose SK Mannequin Skeleton. Here, you do not make any mistake here. The animation length, you have to choose the animated time. You have to make sure these two choose correctly. Then you can just click import all. So now it is going to import these motions. So now we are going to wait for a while until it finish import. Now you can see after finish finish imported, it is going to show you a message log. You can just close this. And you can check check the animation sequence. Now the FBX file already turned into the animation sequence in your Unreal Engine 4.27. We just double click and check. This is the motion file. This is the animation sequence. 
And how are we going to import more? For example, if, if I want to, to import a field, for example, I want to import three. So I'm going to select three of it, import together. At this moment, the skeletons, you have to choose the same, UE4 mannequin skeletons. And then the animation length, you have to choose animated time. And this time you do not click import. If you click import, it is going to ask you one by one for, for all the files. What about if you, you import 100 files, it is going to, to ask you 100 times. So once you already make sure you choose it properly, just click import all. It is not going to pause and interrupt any of the question for you. You just need to click import all. And here you have to wait until it finish imported everything. Now, so far, I already chosen three files. It is going to import as three animation sequences at here. You just wait for a while and have a look. Now you can see it finished import three of it and it show you one message log. It is just once to close this and you can check three animation sequences here. Double click it and you can see the animation sequences already finished imported. Right now, this one. Three animation sequences. You can drag in into, into your game as well. And now let us have a look. This is the first. Now, if you try to play the game, now you can see all of these animation sequences already imported into your game project. And of course, you can just right click it and retarget the animation assets, all of this animation sequence. You retarget it and retarget it onto other 3D avatar if you have. Right. To make sure you choose as a humanoid avatar and retarget it into other 3D avatar. And this is really simple, uh, the next skill that you have to learn so that you can fully utilize all of this CMU motion pack. There are really a lot, about 2,548 motion files that you can utilize it. Right. That's all for today about my sharing of the CMU full motion pack. All of these are more cap, the motion capture. And it is really for you to download for your Unreal Engine 4.27 for your game project. This is really awesome. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial and sharing, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I publish a new sharing or tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.